I'm standing here outside of the San Brizio Chapel at Orvieto Cathedral. When it was completed in 1404, it was actually referred to as the Capella Nova, the new chapel, because it was the latest addition onto the great cathedral. And in 1447, the great Florentine painter Fra Angelico was invited to come in and decorate the vault of the chapel, but he never completed them because in fact, he was called to Rome by Nicholas V to paint the walls of his private chapel. It wasn't until 1499 that a painter by the name of Luca Signorelli, in fact, came in and completed what was to be a last judgment cycle so that the figure of Jesus Christ and the surrounding angels were in fact painted by Frangelico, as was the vault to the right-hand side, which represents the various prophets, but everything else was executed by Signorelli. An artist who was as fascinated with the male nude form as Michelangelo would be soon after him and consider that it was on his way to Rome that Michelangelo passed through Orvieto and saw these frescoes himself. And so in many ways, these frescoes inspired the Sistine Chapel seal. So what we have inside the chapel is an image of Christ in judgment. And to your left-hand side of him, we have an image of angels painted by Signorelli later on, actually assisting the elect into heaven. Whereas on the right-hand side of Christ, we have demons assisting the damned into hell. And then on the left hand wall, the image closest to the altar shows us the elect one more time and all of those semi nude figures painted by Signorelli and the fresco before that, the acts of the Antichrist and that rather weird looking Christ figure into whose ear the demon seems to be whispering. On the right hand side of the chapel, we have Signorelli's two most celebrated paintings. The first of which is of the resurrection of the flesh. All of these people crawling out of the grounds representing the reconstitution of all of the deceased. In fact, you see many a skeleton as well. And then next to it, we actually have the damned tormented by demons, where we have all sorts of creative punishments. Demons gnawing on the heads, twisting arms and legs, and performing all sorts of painful maneuvers upon those poor figures that we see. And then, in fact, in the far left-hand corner of the chapel, one of the most important details, and that is the self-portrait of the artist Signorelli, and next to him, the portrait of his predecessor, Fra Angelico. And then on the adjoining wall, we actually have the letters LS, the abbreviation for Luca Signorelli, and his unmistakable signature as the author of these great frescoes. Mm -hmm.